All right, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2011. Can you believe it's September 1st already? Man, where does the time go? Anyway, um, I'm going to go over the trades that we had this morning in the live trading room, and I will... Uh, and that's it. I'm going to go over the trades we had in the live trading room. I'll show you the opportunities that were presented, the opportunities we were able to take, and the opportunities that we missed. Um, you can see that point-wise... We got 20 ticks this morning in the live trading room on the ES, and we have 27 ticks on the YM this morning. Um, for for those of you who do not know, um, that is, what is that, 135 plus 35, that's $385 a contract um, in the first two hours of trading in the live trading room this morning. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, because you sat there and watched me do it? <laughs> uh, yeah, you and a you and a whole bunch. More than more than twenty, more than thirty, I think. You know, you and a whole bunch of people. Okay. All right. Um, well, when when the room opened up this morning, now I I jumped right into this trade right here, right at the open. Um, I just I sat down at my chair, and and that's another thing about the, the way that we do the room, guys. We don't you know we don't go through a whole bunch of pre market analysis like a lot of a lot of places suggest you do. We trade what's in front of us all the time. We trade what's in front of us. Um, I sat down and I saw we had a bubble right here. And a BBC right here, pull back down to the BBC. So I got long right here, and I took profit right here. All right, the next trade we had another bubble. We had a pull back to the BBC. I got long right there, and once it broke the elbow here and it started to go down, I took a one point loss on that trade. Okay, um, so I lost some money on that trade. The market turned around. We had the bubble and a pull back to the BBC right here. I got short here for a profit. Over here, I got short again. Um, once I had a point profit in the trade, and we were right in front of a news event, I moved my stop to break even. Actually, I don't even think we had a point profit in the trade. I think I had a little bit of profit in the trade. Um, but uh, one of the partners had reminded me that we're right in front of a news event, you know, a high-impact news event. Um, so I took my stop to break even, and I got out of break even on that one. Then the news event hit. So nothing in between right here and the next trade that I took was really even tradable because um, it was a mess. You know, it, it all happened so fast. It was just messy in there. So right over here was the next the next trade. I didn't take this trade um, for some reason. I don't know why I didn't take this trade, but we had the bubble and we had the pullback right here. I think I tried to trade it here, and it ended up pulling back over here. Okay, but I didn't take that trade, and that went down for a couple of points profit. Um, the next opportunity, we had the bubble here on the continuation trade. It pulled back to the BBC. I did take this one, all right, for another couple of points profit. So there we have three winning two-point trades, which if I, yeah, three winning two-point trades gives us 24 ticks profit. Um, I had one losing four-tick trade, which brings us to 20 ticks profit, and that's what you see here, the 20 ticks profit. Okay, that was at 10.30, and... In between there and in the end of the morning session, I didn't take any more trades. Um, see, over here was where I was thinking about taking one, but the the only bubble that we had was this little teeny one right here, and we didn't want to take that one. Okay, the only bubble we had was the BBC outside the uh, outside the elbow. Okay, um, after the 10:30, this was borderline because it was right on top of the elbow extension. We could have gone long here, but we didn't. Then right here, all the way up to right now, it's back inside the box. So the BBC, I mean, is back inside the box. So we're not looking to take any more trades there right now. All right, so that's how we got our 20 ticks profit on the ES. Now on the YM, the YM trades were all in one area this morning <laughs> for me. Um, now this was the morning right here. And we didn't take any trades here in the, in the very early morning. After the 10 o'clock news event, the market ran all the way up here, and it came down here. Um, right here after the bullish cross on the YM, we came back down here. 
Um, I took a long trade off the BBC right here, and you can see we have 27 ticks profit right now. I took a long trade off the BBC right here with just 7 ticks risk, and it stopped me out almost to the tick, I think, right there. And then at that time I said, well, you know, I'm still confident that it's going to move up some here off the BBC, so after I get an up close, I will look to go long again. And I did right here. I went long, and I took it long up to the MA1. Right here at the MA1, I had about 12 ticks profit in the trade, and I locked in 10 ticks profit. Okay, and I got stopped out with plus 10 ticks profit there. That on the morning that gave me plus three, I think, after losing seven and plus ten there. Then it turned around. Okay, the stuff, the whole market turned around right here. So we had a bearish cross. It pulled down here and it pulled back up to the MA1. When it got up here to the MA1, after the bearish cross, I shorted that again. Um, you can see I have arrows all over the place here because I took different trades. When I shorted it, I shorted it down to the MA1 right here. When it got to the MA1, I moved my stop to plus ten ticks profit thinking it was going to bounce off the MA1. And it did bounce off the MA1 a little bit, enough to come back and take me out at plus 10 ticks profit. So at this point I was plus 13 ticks profit or plus 12 ticks profit, something like that. Um, <clears throat> then we had this divergence right here, this big divergence. So at that point I was looking for a close underneath the MA1, which we got right here. When we got that close underneath the MA1, I shorted that with a 10 by 15 bracket and it quickly gave me the 15 ticks there. So that was how I got to 27 ticks profit on the YM this morning. There were a bunch more shorts here on the way down. I didn't take any of these on the way down, but there were, you know, there was it was more opportunity for sure on the way down. Um, right now, you see the way the market's moving right now. We have it's it's pretty choppy right in here, but we have some bullish divergence right here. But we're we're way underneath the uh, BBC. So I don't know how this is all going to come together. Um, there was one other thing that I pointed out to folks this morning um, that I think was worth noting. Right here, when we when we had this cross right here on the combo, in the middle area, we had this cross. I had said, because everything was looking pretty bullish, and I had said at that time that usually if you get a cross like that in the middle area, it's going to go in the direction of the green, the direction of the green and white lines. And that's what it did. And hopefully that saved a couple of our partners from trying to go long right in here on this pullback because it would have definitely stopped you out right there on the way down to the uh, on the way down to the weekly trading zone all right um i know we both have a lot of things going on today Dwayne. so i am going to cut it short here and in, in hopes that mike reed will call in the next five minutes or so all right um but that was it guys i'm going to wrap this little video up right now this recap video you can see we're plus 20 on the ES, plus 27 on the YM.